What is up everyone, in today's video I am going to be showing you the best way to collect seashells inside of Pixel Simulator 99. And if you collect 500 of these seashells, you will be able to make yourselves a summer gift, which if you open one up, you'll have a chance of getting a huge pineapple monkey. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out on the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. All right, so we're back right here. And from what I've heard, you can only get seashells from this last area, the Volcano Island right here. Um, and I believe this is pretty much it. I don't think you can get any from the previous areas. Maybe you can, but if you will want, I think it's going to be the easiest to actually get it from this last area here. So make sure to uh, run for that. Uh, and so pretty much you want to go in and you want to you know, start off with your inventory uh, or like your enchants. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different enchants right here. And these I kind of actually had from my, uh, you know, pretty much the, what do you call it, the police chest. But now we're actually growing seashells. So first off, a boss chest mimic would be very OP because it gives you loot. And with the loot, uh, you know, I, I believe you might actually find a seashell inside of like the chest, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much, uh, that's amazing. I also do uh, recommend having a corruption enchant because this thing will actually help you break, uh, I guess, the breakables a lot faster, which is going to, you know, get you more drops a lot faster, obviously. And then uh, moving on, we also want the uh, treasure hunter right here. As you can see, this is going to increase your breakable, like your drops from breakables by 50% which you know that's great and all uh, and also a super magnet would be very useful because now you can actually go all the way you don't even have to be in the area and you'll still get you know i guess the loot you can just like you, you can hatch eggs uh while you're you know, running for seashells which uh, which you know is all things to the super magnet uh, and then also you pretty much want the criticals book that's gonna pretty much go hand in hand with the corruption right here mini chest fortune is also extremely op you definitely want to have that on and pretty much uh, you can pretty much pick this last one uh, um, this is pretty much you know if you want these like last two you're gonna have to pay uh, robux to get these last three enchant slots but you know I'll, I'll just probably put like I don't know like uh, uh, I guess uh, you know Matt name or why not uh, but yeah these are pretty much the five stuff you want uh, the mini chest fortune uh, is pretty cool and good because if you find a mini chest here you're going to uh, get two times the loot which i mean possibly could be two times the seashells so yeah but probably the most op thing is going to be the boss chest mimic and the treasure hunter those are definitely two very op things uh, and then also you want to go to potions you want to use up your damage uh because that's going to go hand in hand with the corruption enchant uh you want to want to also get some coins if you're running low on coins obviously though uh treasure hunter definitely that's that's like probably the most important one and then you can also use cocktail i guess cocktail would also work well uh it does it gives you a whole ton of boost and it's really cheap only 100k gems uh, and that's 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 that and then you want to go flushed into items and with flags so with flags you actually want to place either an exotic flag probably the best one right here uh or a, if you know if this one's way too expensive you want to do either a shiny flag or a rainbow flag because that's going to make your pets a whole lot better uh, in this case i'm going to just use some exotic flags there we go and we should get seashells in no time with this so let's just break some of these like there you guys you can see let's just uh hopefully we get something for, good from this chest i don't think we got any uh seashells here yet um i don't know why the seashells are like really hard to get like i'm not sure why i uh, also want to you know but you want to also use all the fruits uh all, pretty much all of them except the orange the orange doesn't matter because it's a coins but the rest of them you want to you know eat max and then you want to also use up your toys as per usual and so these are going to definitely help you a lot you also want you know if you want uh to break these a whole lot faster you pretty much want an ultimate uh, i recommend a tornado one that's nine million pretty expensive uh you can also use tnt shower that one's pretty cheap uh, and also i guess uh i mean grand pound i guess the default one uh but tornado is definitely extremely op look if i just use it right now it's going to obliterate look how much stuff i'm getting that's crazy i guess we just wait until we get like a seashell so um yeah I, as you can see i'm getting so much loot like it's crazy uh if you have alt stuff is going to help you out a ton like a whole lot more uh and there we go 
uh, as you can see i'm getting so much different stuff uh, and then once you once you're pretty much um you, you can even put an auto clicker on the uh ultimate it's going to uh you know you pretty much kind of just put it on whenever you want or like whenever it finishes uh refreshing or like uh, charging and if you also want to speed up the process you can also use some tnt crates and also some tnt because as you can see that's just doing and as you can see it just got a seashell so there we go we got three of them i mean i i, I assume that the reason why they're that hard is because uh you get them like in stacks like you don't get like a you know like with the prison keys you got one at a time here you can get like three or something or like multiple at once so that is one of the fastest ways you can get seashells from pet simulator 99 and if you're interested in the best way of how to get the huge police cat from the police hq make sure to check out this video right here